it's love that compels God um, to seek us out. It's His love. He loves us more than we can imagine. Um, so He gave us these commandments to show us that we're guilty, but He also provided a way out. He provided a way uh, to reverse what happened in the garden with Adam and Eve. When Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, um, sin entered the world and corrupted us and our world, the world that God made. Um, we, we lost control of it to Satan also, but Christ has won that back, at least in the hearts of his people. Um, because, you know, he doesn't force us to serve him. So only those who choose to serve him are really under his control right now, and the rest are under Satan's control until, you know, they give it over to God. Um, the point is, is that, uh, okay, he gave us these commandments to show us what sin was. Um, you shall have no other gods before me. Um, you shall not make a, a graven image. A graven image can be a molten image, you know, made out of metal, or it can be a carved image, uh, any kind of a statue. He said you shall not make an image of anything in heaven above, or in earth beneath, or in the water beneath the earth. Um, you should not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the sins of the children, I mean of the fathers, on the children, to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me, but showing mercy to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. So, we see that he's a jealous God, but he's a merciful God. But he said, you know, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not kill, honor your mother and father, you shall not lie, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not cover your, anything of your neighbors. Um, yeah, <laughs> you shall have no graven images. I said that one. Um, I'm trying to think of which ones I already covered. Kill, steal murder, law, I mean, kill, steal, commit adultery, graven images, no other gods before me. You know what, I need to open it up because I'm getting, I'm losing my place here. And I'm sorry, but it's been a long day. <laughs> I am um, not even sure I haven't memorized, but I know that they're in my heart, so <laughs> I'm not going to do them. <laughs> uh, so I'm grateful for that, but maybe I ought to memorize them, huh? Um... I know that it's in Exodus. I think it's... It's in the 20s, somewhere here. Okay. Oh, okay, that's right. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Um, that means in an empty way or worthlessly. Um, it can also mean an arrogance, so it can stand for both um, taking the name of God like you become a Christian. You say that you belong to God, but you walk opposite of God. That could be it, but it can also be using his name for no purpose. Um, you know, calling out in anger or arrogance or something like that, I believe. Um, but that one's a tough one to, uh, to translate, but I think that either one of those are obviously not good. Um, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh, let's see. Honoring your father and mother, you shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness that's lying against a false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house, wife, manservant, maidservant, ox, ass, or anything that is your neighbor's. Um, so he gave these initially, but he, he gave a lot more than just the Ten Commandments. And, and then Christ clarified them and said, you know, you've heard don't commit adultery, but I'm telling you, you shall not lust. Uh, so we can see that it goes a lot deeper than just the outward uh, sins that, you know, we think of on a regular basis. So if you come to that realization um, that, you know, you've offended God and you've grieved his heart uh, and you really want forgiveness... Uh, all you have to do is go to him and tell him, you know, I believe in your son Jesus Christ. I believe he died for me. You know, I'm sorry for my sins. And ask God to forgive you, to cleanse you, to make you his child, and to change you from the inside out into the person he wants you to be. And he will answer. And he says that he will give you his Holy Spirit. Um, he didn't say that. I mean, he did say that. But I'm going to give it to you from Acts because that was where the first sermon was actually preached by the apostles after Jesus was gone. Um, and it really sums it up very well. Uh, 
basically what they did is on the day of Pentecost when all these thousands of people gathered here to hear them and to see the spectacle of, you know, they, they seemed like they were, well, they were accused of being drunk. I don't know that they actually seemed like they were drunk, but they were speaking in other languages. God's Spirit had come upon them, and all these people gathered around. And then Peter preached his first sermon, and he started with saying, this is what Joel prophesied. Um, and then he proved who Jesus Christ was by the scriptures. Uh, then he, you know, through the Old Testament prophecies and so forth. Uh, and then... Uh, he said, you know, you've crucified him, and but this was used by God. Um, well, these people uh, were really struck in their conscience by this, and they were like, well, men and brothers, what do we do? What do we do? You know, they didn't want to be judged by God for this. Um, so Peter said to them in, uh, this is in Acts chapter 2, verse 38, Peter said to them, repent, that means to turn away from sin or to turn back to God. It really means to turn around or to change your mind. And in the Old Testament, that was always used for turning back to God and away from sin. So he, Peter says, turn away from sin and turn back to God and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the, for, for the release of sins. And people will say that's forgiveness, but if you look up the word, it means to place away from you. It's actually the word they used for dismissing a wife, to send her away. So what this means is um, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the sending away of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That's the gift that we receive. We get forgiveness and release of sin, um, which is a double thing. That's uh, forgiveness for our past sins, which is biblical, by the way, folks. I know a lot of people think it's forgiveness of our sins, past, present, future. Well, there is that if it's a true salvation, if we've messed up. Um, but that's a whole other issue, and we really need to go into that in another segment. Um, but for now, we just want to focus on the fact that um, <clears throat> Jesus will forgive, all that God will forgive in Christ, all the sins that we've ever done in the past, and he will uh, give us his Holy Spirit, the gift of his Holy Spirit, and he will begin to change us from the inside out so that we now are not ruled by sin, Sin is no longer our master, but God is our master, and Jesus Christ, by His Spirit, is in us. And so He enables us and empowers us to walk in God's ways. Uh, so if you pray that prayer, again, you know, it's recognizing you're a sinner and telling God, God, I realize I'm a sinner and I'm sorry for my sins. I believe in your Son, Jesus Christ. Please forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me. Uh, make me your child and change me into the person you want me to be. And you can say, Lord, please give me your Holy Spirit so that I can be changed from the inside out. Uh, and he will do that. Now, once you've received his Spirit, uh, it's not automatic. We need to follow the Lord's teachings and his instructions. Remember when I said earlier that my friends counseled me to read God's Word on a regular basis. I recommend starting in the Gospels. Read, start from Matthew. Uh, you know, so that you can learn what Jesus taught. And, uh, you know, the Gospels are the message. The Gospel is the whole message. You know, there are people that, that preach a partial Gospel these days. They just say, oh, all you have to do is pray a prayer and, you know, receive Jesus. Tell him you believe in him and he'll save you. And you're forever saved. And that's a partial Gospel. Um, there may be some of you offended by that. I hope you're not, and I hope that you will bear with me on this and let me uh, have the opportunity to show you what I've learned from God's Word uh, in another segment on this. Uh, if you don't, well, my prayers are with you. I hope that God will open your eyes and help you to see the truth. Um, so anyways, once you uh, have received the Lord, it's time to start, uh, you know, the, the Bible says we're to be devoted to prayer and uh, devoted to his word. Let the word of God, the words of God, dwell within you richly. Uh, it means they need to continue in our hearts. We need to keep them in our hearts and minds. Um, Jesus himself said that's how we're set free from sin. In um, the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 31 through 36, he was speaking to some Jewish people who believed on him. Okay? They believed in Jesus. And he said to them, If you continue in my words, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, the Eletheia, the revealed truth, and the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Okay? And they said, Well, we're Abraham's seed. We've never been in slavery to anyone. What do you mean you'll be set free? How, you know, what are you talking about? So he clarified for them. He said, Truly I tell you, whoever is sinning is a slave to sin. 
and the slave does not remain in the household forever. Now here he's referring to slave, slaves when they had their children, their children were the property of their master, um, and they were born into that household, but they were not legitimate children even though they grew up in that house, and that's what he's talking about. Um, but if they became legitimate children, if the master or the son of the house who's over the household were to set them free and adopt them, then they would be legitimate children. Uh, so he's saying, uh, you know, whoever is sinning is a slave to sin, and the slave does not stay in the household forever. But the helios, the legitimate son, he does stay in the house forever.